What's good, gente? It's your boy, Conejo, man. And as you guys can see, man, we got a good one. We're going to be speaking on a sensitive subject, um, something that had occurred like a month ago. Um, pretty much an uh, individual, some youngster, had lost his life. I mean, you know, um, apparently there was a gang-related shooting or some or something that took place where an individual had, uh, had to lose his life, you know. Someone was taken in, but... That individual that was taken in for the for the crime was apparently a minor as well, right? Um, a 15-year-old did lose his life, and I believe uh, he was 16 years old. So there hasn't been no images or nothing put out there on the youngster, right? So you guys are going to have to bear with me. Uh, more than likely, it was uh, a sureño, you know? More than likely, it was a sureño. But I also got to take under consideration that it's Watsonville, you know? In Watson, there's always red on red, and... A lot of the bodies that do turn up uh, at times that happen to be ants, um, it happens to be another ant that does it. But on this occasion, I feel like it was a sureño because of the age and everything. Let's look at this clip. We have some breaking news out of Watsonville. Police have made an arrest in connection with the shooting death of a 15-year-old boy on Rodriguez Street over the weekend. Police say they have tracked down the suspected shooter. That shooter found in an unincorporated Santa Cruz County. He has been taken into custody. The 16-year-old suspect has been booked into Juvenile Hall facing murder charges. Investigators say the suspected shooter and the 15-year-old victim knew each other and had had issues in the past. So by seeing this little news report, automatically it does tell me that it was some Sureños that they had conflict with, right? Because more than likely, if they have this information, um, it goes back to uh, school. Everything goes back to school. And Rodriguez is a place that um, I have mentioned before in the past that happens to be a Norteño area, you know, it's a, it's a it gets shared by WVN and Northside Chicos. Um, there was another news clip where it was a little bit more emotional and I honestly didn't want to put that one um, just out of respect for the homeboys and honestly because... I had a couple of family members that come out and they talk a little bit about the situation, so I felt that of respect. Uh, I wouldn't put that video out, but if now if you want to look it up, that's that's totally up to you. Um, it is up there, and pretty much the brother does speak up and pretty much says, man, that he was a good kid. You know, a lot of the kids in Watson, man, when they're young and even if they're gang banging, they're just kids, man. They don't know better. You know, they don't happen to realize um, how the ball game is actually ran until they hit a county or they hit 18 19 you know when they get a little bit older um and their brains are a little bit more developed um but as a youngster man uh they're just trying to have fun you know and it's sad when you hear stories like that man that a uh, young kid lost his life at a young age 15 is super young bro 15 is really a uh, super young uh age to for a family member just put it like that for a family member to have to lose uh, someone that they love you know so prayers to the family man um i hope they're doing good my condolences to them and for the the suspect man i mean you guys got to understand that in the gang banging life i mean i can't i'm not going to talk down on them uh, i know there's been people that be like oh man well it kind of seems like the norteños uh uh the young norteños are the only ones coming up short you know in all reality, man, um, those are the young, the the youngsters are the ones that are really out there pushing, you know. So those are the ones that get caught up slipping. A lot of the older heads, they tend to just chill and do a little bit more of their family thing nowadays. But the youngsters are out there, and those are the ones that always get caught on the slip. You get me? So uh, that sucks, man. But that's life in certain cities in California, man. Um, sorry to say, but it is. Um, there's certain cities that are a little bit more affected when it comes to this gang life, you know. Um, but with time, hopefully things will get better. And, yeah, man. So this kid uh, apparently um, also lost his life, right? Because this is how I look at it, man. When someone takes a life, and especially when they're young, you know damn well that they're going to get broken off with a good amount of time, man. And more than likely, this youngster is going to get life and, and realize that he fucking done gave this whole life up all over some stupid shit you know but this investigation um this incident is still going on so i'm gonna leave some of those other details uh, i'm gonna keep them to myself you guys gotta understand that people from watsonville yeah of course they get the other the other side of the story right because everybody knows somebody that's affiliated or someone that's connected with with this type of people right so i could get into some more details but 
like I said, I don't really like doing open investigations. Um, right here on EBK Family, we don't help cops, bro. You know, I apologize, but we don't help cops. Um, once the case is a little bit more closed, uh, once he gets sentenced and stuff like that, we can explore and actually do a better profile, you know, on this situation. But I kind of figured, man, this is one of my subscribers. This is like the second time he had asked for this video. That I would speak a little bit about it, man, especially because Watsonville is just a town, man, where a lot of red on red, um, a lot of kids come up short, and it's a, it's a, it's a little off the hook, homie. It's like a little Selena's, homie. When it comes down to this gang lifestyle, you know, so yeah, man. Um, if you happen to be someone that was related um, to the individual that did lose his life, man, I send you guys my. My love, my condolences, everything, man. I send it in full, and I hope you guys can um, overcome this, right? Because stuff like this is really hard, man. Uh, I understand it's really hard. So, with all that being said, gente, I am going to cut this video right here short. I'm going to just, you know what I mean? Just wait until the case is done, you know, before we start speaking about this again. Um, I got some other videos that I will be speaking on, especially on that uh, body that was caught right there at the store. Um, apparently it was a dropout and stuff like that. So I will be making a story about that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So if you did, man, make sure to hit a like for your boy. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that follow button. And when you hit that notification bell, man, make sure to hit all so you don't miss out on no fire content, right? On this video, man, I do apologize because it was a sensitive subject, especially to the individuals that lost somebody. And for the other individuals that have their son or... A f their friend whatever right that's locked up that's another member that was pretty much lost why because more than likely he's not going to be seen in what's on no more right um their family's not going to be able to see him unless they go visit him in prison and it's, it, it sucks you know for little kids to be going out like that you know yeah i see they, they might see it right now as them putting in work and oh i did that homie right but in all reality give it a couple years and you're gonna be like fuck why did i do it so with all that being said, man, I hope someone was able to get something out of this video. Um, I hope I was able to at least give you a little insight of what you guys were asking about this video, right? Um, like I said, I don't do a lot of talking when it comes to open investigations and stuff like that. But once the thing's done, I got you guys. So with all that being said, man, I hope you guys like this video. So if you did, make sure to hit all that good stuff. And you guys already be knowing, man, this is your boy Cornejo, and we out. Suckers don't get a pass on them coming clip hey. Nobody fuck you with me Slide through with the hunters who fuck you deep Other suckers wanna kill me Run it back on my shoes, we can feel you So don't come to clip Nobody fuck you with me Slide through with the hunters